Whether you spend your days up in a bucket, producing a live TV show, or designing the future, this is a very special moment for everyone at Comcast. I pinch myself every day thinking about where we came from and where we now are. Nobody ever dreamt, let alone Brian and me, that we'd be where we are today. I don't think Comcast is in its prime, but I always say I think we're just getting warmed up. Comcast is turning 50, oh my gosh. Well, now they have to buy like a sports car, a convertible, and uh, drive around like they're in their 20s still. 50 years down the line, I can look at my grandkids and say, hey, I was there. I was there. It's kind of a big family, and that's a very personal thing that uh, Ralph has brought to the business. We really have built something that is going to survive forever. When I think of the company now, it blows my mind. I just can't imagine that many employees with as few as we started with. It is mind-altering to consider just how different today's Comcast is from the company that started 50 years ago. Today, Comcast is one of the world's leading media and technology companies bringing video and the internet to more homes in this country than anyone else. Comcast is a state-of-the-art video, voice, and broadband delivery system. Broadcast and cable TV networks, movies, theme parks, and digital brands. And this is just the beginning. This is Comcast at 50. Welcome to What's Next. The reason there's a Comcast at all is because of a pioneer named Ralph Roberts. I just think I'm an example of what you can do in America starting with very little. And if you have a good determination and you're honest about what you do, uh, you can be successful. He was born in 1920 in New York City. Growing up during the Depression, he learned early on to knock at Opportunity's door or an occasional flower bed. He was always an entrepreneur, starting with when he was a little boy, stealing the flowers out of his mother's garden and then turning around and selling them and making a few bucks. Which led eventually to a major in business at Wharton. Ralph Roberts married the love of his life, Suzanne Fleischer. He then took a swing at selling golf putters, marketing Muzak, and for a while leading a highly successful belt and suspender company. One day I saw in a newspaper a large ad for beltless slacks. I said, oh my gosh, you can wear your pants and not have to have a belt? That's terrible. So he sold the company, preparing him for the chance meeting on a city sidewalk that would change his life and ours. A gentleman walked up to him in Philadelphia and said, Ralph, do I have a new deal for you? It was a community antenna television system in Tupelo, Mississippi. And I think he started by saying, where's Tupelo? The man who arranged the deal was Dan Aaron, a journalist turned cable TV broker. Dan was so impressive to my dad and my father said, I'll buy the business if you'll come and run it for me. And my dad's accountant said, this sounds great. I want to join too. There was the opportunity. Cable, Ralph, and a chance to get out of public accounting. So there it was, the three of us. On November 13th, 1963, not far from the birthplace of Elvis Presley, Ralph Roberts bought the Tupelo cable system. It had just 1,200 subscribers, and the Northerner's warmth would soon become his trademark. If he'd been from the South, I would have called him a Southern gentleman. He was very down to earth. He was not like an executive or a CEO of the company. He was just somebody that you could talk to. Envisioning Cable's potential, Ralph purchased more systems, and in 1972, Comcast became a public company. We were deal junkies. We were growth junkies. Our mantra was growth, growth, growth. Growing up, Brian Roberts had always wanted to work with his father at headquarters, but Ralph insisted he learn the business from the ground up, which he did at branch offices like the one in Flint, Michigan. He worked with all of us to just really learn what it means to run a cable company. Everybody was said he was just like one of us. And after years of learning the ropes and the coaxial cables, Brian became president of Comcast at the tender age of 30. When I was 30, how could I be ready? But I thought I was ready, and my father was foolish enough to have confidence in me, but we were going to be partners. 
In the late 1990s, Bill Gates of Microsoft saw that new fiber optic networks could be used to carry data as well as TV. Most people didn't see that the cable industry was going to provide the infrastructure for the digital world. Microsoft wanted to help Comcast out to make the investments to bring that age forward. He invested a billion dollars in Comcast and didn't come on the board, didn't get any voting rights. He just wanted to change history. And Comcast changed history a few years later, buying AT&T broadband and more than doubling its size. All Comcast needed now was its own content business. NBC Universal was our number one choice. Um, the problem is it wasn't for sale for 10 years. Federal regulators today approved the purchase by Comcast of a majority And that was my NBC first day as a Comcast employee. The timing of the takeover was great for us because we were about five seasons into 30 Rock and we needed a whole new uh, source of jokes. It's over, Lennon. It's all over. You're selling NBC to a company called Cable Town with a K. Oh, yeah. My parents have Cable Town down in Pennsylvania. It's a fine and generous company. A lot of the businesses at NBC Universal were ready to do better. All they needed was investment, optimism, and sort of a feeling that if you build it, they will come. And Comcast is building by investing tens of billions in theme parks, TV programming, local stations, movies, news, sports, and entertainment. And it's paying off with hits like Despicable Me 2, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, The Voice, and the number one broadcast in America, Sunday Night Football. And the London Olympics, with more than 219 million viewers, became the most watched television event in U.S. history. Add to that nearly two billion views on digital media. We used every platform, CNBC, MSNBC, USA Network, Telemundo, in addition to NBCOlympics.com, social media as well. The Olympics pulls it all together, and it's a tremendous company-wide undertaking. In a company-wide, unscientific poll, we discovered that what pulls together more than 129,000 employees is a passion for their work. I'm really excited when I come to work at Comcast because it allows me to turn science fiction into science fact. What I like most about working here is opportunity. What makes me want to come into work every day? The commissary. Just I live for the commissary. Comcast magic is when we take your situation that you're unhappy with and make you love us. It's magic. Being able to wake up every day and come to a place that you enjoy coming to is, is great. I don't consider this a job, I consider it a career. This is a place I'd like to retire from. I love the people that I work with here. I love coming to work each day because at a certain point you have to get away from your children or they just think you're always going to do stuff for them. And the glue that binds the company together is the unique Comcast culture based on Ralph's values. I just try to make sure that we are always progressive, honest, straightforward, that integrity is important. Whenever we have a tough decision, our North Star is WWRD. What would Ralph do? Integrity, entrepreneurialism, teamwork, growth, values that endure today. I have heard over and over and over again, is this the right thing to do? It's not what's legal, it is what is the right thing to do. I think the job description for me is taking risks. Whether or not you get the support for that or not, you know instantly. And I think from the moment Steve and Brian arrived, they've made us feel important again. When there is a crisis, it is all hands on deck. It doesn't matter what your role is. It is professionalism at its best. The way for Comcast to express that we have a heart and a soul is through our community investment program. We crystallize our caring into a single day of service, which has become the largest corporate day of service in the country. One of the things that Comcast does very well is it moves very fast. We make decisions and, and go. It's a pioneering spirit that makes you want to come to work because technology is changing so quickly. You do the same thing on every device. If you look up there, a 50th anniversary is not only a time to celebrate what we've accomplished, but a perfect opportunity to think about what's next. We're now at the cross-section of technology and media, unlike any company in the world. We always expected 
our audience is to come to us. We need to go where the audience is. We feel very confident and safe here to know that if we create the content, Comcast is going to find a way to get it to people, however modern the delivery system is. It's going to be amazing uh, to see how the living room will be revolutionized with Comcast's investments. Innovations like the X1 platform are leading the industry, and X1 is about to get even better. Coming soon across the country, a TV library in the cloud, personalized to what you like, and the ability to watch TV anytime, anywhere, and on any device. You're going to be able to pick up any device that you have in your house that can show you video and get all of your TV delivered to that device. I think you're going to start to see display surfaces everywhere. Your coffee table is a display, and your wall is a display. There's just going to be displays in lots and lots of places, places you didn't expect. And there's no place like Xfinity Home. For the past 50 years, Comcast has been the place to which a customer goes to access their entertainment. I think in the next five years, it's going to be where they go to manage their connected home. I walk up to the stairs, the doors unlock, the lights go on, the temperature's set the way I want it. You can even have it start cooking you dinner. I mean, it's all that stuff in the Jetsons that we've been promising for years and years and years and years. And, and like, I think we're finally at the place where we can make this a reality. It's a reality that will shape the future of media and technology. The biggest dream I can think of is to have Comcast be the most innovative company in the world. Over the last 50 years, the company has been primarily domestically focused. 50 years from now, it'll be a much more global company. I mean, I hope it's not too big a dream, but I would love the global currency to be Comcast bucks. I guess Ralph would be on the one, Brian would be on the five, and you know, God willing, they'd put me on the 20. The most frequently asked question that I get is, did you ever believe when you were in Tupelo, Mississippi with 1,200 subscribers that someday you'd have a company that does over a billion dollars? And usually, as I say with a straight face, of course I imagined that to happen. But in reality, I didn't. Baseball. Brian Roberts, I'm talking to you. This is a golden opportunity for me to say thank you to all of you who have helped build this company. Welcome to What's Next, 